Hello everyone and welcome to Med Simplify. I'm Dr. Umar Malik and in this video we will discuss about a few signs that can indicate you have a kidney disease. Before we dive deeper into the topic, let me tell you a few very interesting facts about our kidneys. The average kidney is as big as our cell phone and weighs around 110 to 170 grams. Now for children born with renal agenesis, which means only a single kidney, this single kidney grows till it has the combined weight of two kidneys. Nephrons are the filtering units of the kidneys and each kidney has between 1 to 2 million nephrons. If the nephrons in the kidneys are removed and laid end to end, they cover a distance of approximately 10 miles. Kidneys perform the vital function of generating vitamin D in our body. Now this is primarily done by the skin on exposure to sunlight, but our kidneys play a vital role further in the pathway of vitamin D production. Now let's talk about the basic functions of our kidneys. Kidneys are one of the most important and busy organs in our body. They are basically like the filters for our blood. Each kidney contains millions of these tiny nephrons which are the functional units of the kidneys. Millions of nephrons act together and these act as filters which work continuously to filter the blood and take out all the waste elements in the blood. Broadly speaking, there are three major functions of our kidneys. Removing waste from blood in the form of urine. Maintaining the chemical and fluid balance of our body. And the third major function of a kidney is that they help in regulating the blood pressure and also promote the growth of red blood cells as they produce a hormone known as erythropoietin. Now, there are many other functions of our kidneys but discussing them will make the video too long. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see a detailed video about the function of our kidneys. So coming back to the topic, let's talk about some of the reasons of kidney problems. And due to various reasons, kidneys can become unable to filter the waste products from your blood. When this happens, dangerous levels of wastes may accumulate and your blood's chemical levels may get out of balance. So, there can be many reasons due to which our kidneys may not be working properly. This can be due to kidney damage due to some reason or chronic kidney failure due to some long-term kidney disease, like prolonged diabetes or chronic high blood pressure also known as hypertension. Other reasons include kidney damage due to prolonged use of medications such as aspirin, ibuprofen and certain chemotherapy drugs and antibiotics. Chronic kidney infections and severe allergic reactions can also lead to kidney failure. Cholesterol deposits or blood clots that block the blood flow in the kidney can also lead to acute damage in the kidneys. Glomerular nephritis, which is basically the inflammation of the tiny filters in the kidney, also leads to kidney problems. And autoimmune disorders like SLE also lead to many cases of kidney failure. These autoimmune disorders also include skin and connective tissue disorders like scleroderma. Other reasons can include accidental ingestion of toxins, chronic alcohol use, and cocaine abuse. Urinary blockage in the kidneys due to cancer, enlarged prostate and stones are some other reasons. Now, it is estimated that more than 37 million American adults are living with kidney disease and most don't even know about it as kidney failure doesn't produce symptoms in the early stages of the disease. According to the National Kidney Foundation, there are a number of physical signs of kidney diseases, but most people attribute them to other conditions. Also, those with kidney diseases tend not to experience symptoms until the very late stages, when the kidneys are failing or when there are large amounts of protein in the urine. This is one of the reasons why only 10% of the people with chronic kidney disease know that they have the disease. So, here are 10 physical signs of kidney disease. Keep in mind that these are not diagnostic of kidney disease. So, before diagnosing yourself, always report your symptoms to a physician and let him do the diagnosis and treatment. Number 1. 
you are more tired you have less energy and you have trouble in concentration a severe decrease in kidney function can lead to a build up of toxins and impurities in the blood this can cause people to feel tired weak and can make it hard to concentrate another complication of kidney disease is anemia which is a decrease in your red blood cell number this anemia can also cause weakness and fatigue number 2 you have trouble sleeping when the kidneys aren't filtering your blood properly toxins accumulate in the blood rather than leaving the body through the urine this can make it difficult to sleep leading to insomnia to make matters worse sleep apnea is also more common in people with chronic kidney disease compared with general population number 3 you have dry and itchy skin healthy kidneys do many important jobs apart from waste removal they help in making red blood cells help in keeping bones strong and they work to maintain the right amount of minerals in your blood dry and itchy skin is a sign that the mineral balance has been disturbed it also indicates that the kidneys are not effectively protecting your bones due to inefficient management of calcium levels number 4 you may feel the need to urinate more often If you feel the need to urinate more often especially at night this can also be a sign of kidney disease the kidney is a filter for impurities but most of the fluid it filters is reabsorbed this is important to maintain a water balance to prevent excess fluid loss when the kidneys get damaged this process of resorption is affected this causes an increased urge to micturate more than usual but this sign can be commonly seen in many other problems also most commonly being the urinary tract infection this too can also be a sign of an enlarged prostate in elderly men number 5 you see blood in your urine as i have mentioned earlier healthy kidneys are highly efficient filters due to the millions of nephrons it contains when filtering wastes from the blood to create urine the nephrons make it sure to keep the blood cells in the body but when the kidneys filters get damaged these blood cells can start to leak out in the urine blood in the urine can also be indicative of tumors kidney stones or an infection in the kidney number 6 your urine is foamy nephrons do everything in their power to keep the proteins in your body from leaving via the urine so if you see excessive bubbles in the urine especially those that require you to flush several times before they go away it typically can indicate that there is protein in the urine this means your nephrons are damaged and are not working properly now this foam may look like the foam you see when scrambling eggs as a common protein found in urine is albumin which is the same protein that is found in the eggs This may look like a very simple finding but it is not. Proteins in the urine are actually one of the most specific signs that your kidneys are in some kind of trouble. Number 7. Important physical signs that may indicate that you have a kidney problem is that you are experiencing persistent puffiness around your eyes and feet. Presence of protein in the urine is an early sign that the kidneys filters have been damaged, allowing protein to leak into the urine. This puffiness or swelling around your eyes and feet can be due to the fact that your kidneys are leaking a large amount of protein in the urine rather than keeping it in the body. Also, decreased kidney function can lead to sodium retention. This sodium causes more water to be saved in your subcutaneous tissues. This causes swelling in your feet and ankles. Swelling in your lower extremities can also be a sign of heart disease. liver disease and chronic leg vein problems number 8 you often experience muscle cramps kidneys regulate your electrolyte levels these electrolytes such as calcium sodium potassium and phosphorus play a very important role in maintaining bodily functions one of those crucial functions is controlling muscle function so any imbalance in these electrolyte levels 
will affect muscle function directly and lead to cramping, stiffness, pain and weakness. For example, low calcium levels and poorly controlled phosphorus levels may contribute to muscle cramps. Well friends, with this we come to the end of this video. If you find that you or someone you know is having these symptoms that I have mentioned earlier, please reach out to your healthcare provider as soon as possible. Kidney damage if diagnosed in the early stages is preventable and full recovery is possible in most of the cases. Your healthcare provider will use a series of tests such as blood work, urine examination, kidney function tests and radiological procedures such as ultrasound and CT scans to diagnose and manage your condition better. Do not self-diagnose or try to self-medicate as it can have serious consequences for everyone involved. If you like this video, share it with your friends and don't forget to like and subscribe. You can support us through our Patreon channel or also by becoming a member of our channel on YouTube. Before I go, I just want to tell you how grateful I am for your continued love and support. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.